what's up guys how you doing my name is Mel welcome to Holmes Law today I'm gonna answer you know uh, one of the members questions that he had you know was um, basically how do I know when to use you know what type of degree or whatnot whether it be a 45 or 30 or 60 or 22 and a half like when do you know when you should use a specific degree you know Okay, so for the sake of the video, okay, let's say that we have about a space of about 28, 29 inches, okay, before we have to go under our obstruction, right? So basically, we're on top of this Kindorf, and all of a sudden, our obstruction is right dead in front of us, okay? So basically, we can't start our bend before our rack, okay, that's one, and we have to actually go under this obstruction, okay? That's two, all right? Now, technically, we can move this rack back, but this is just for the sake of the video. Let's say you have an obstruction, and this is your spacing in between, and you have to, you know, clear this obstruction, which is the cast iron pipe, okay? And you're only working with about 28, 29 inches, okay? So basically, this is how we're gonna decide what degree of bend we're gonna use, okay? Because we only have 29 inches of spacing before we have to clear our actual obstruction. So that's how we're gonna pick our degrees. Okay, so let's go over and let's look at the degrees and see what we're gonna pick. Okay guys, welcome to the example portion of the video. So here I'm just gonna explain to you a few examples. Okay, I'm gonna go over each and every one of them and we're gonna see, you know, basically which one is the best fit now again this is just an example this isn't a debate whether you know the first example or the third example is better or not this is just to explain what the question actually is which is when do we use different types of degrees of bends for offsets okay so basically we use them when we're in a situation like you see here in the screen, okay? When you actually have two obstructions in between each other and you need to offset around one of them, okay? Now, you have a specific measurement like in hours, it's uh, 28, I said 29, but it's about 28, 29 inches, okay, of actual spacing in between our obstructions. So our offset has to be bent in between those two in between that measurement okay so it has to it, the second bend has to actually clear obviously the cast iron conduit pipe okay now um again a big shout out to a Durrell. sorry if i didn't pronounce it correctly this video is for him okay this was his question and he's a top tier member and uh yeah he's a conduitologist so this video was made for him all right, hope this helps, Darrell. Again, sorry if I uh, butchered your name. Anyhow, let's get back to it. Now, for the example one, okay, we have an 8-inch offset, which for all the examples is obviously the same. We have an 8-inch offset, and we're going to do a 22.5 degree bend. Okay, so the multiplier is going to be 2.6. That gives us a spacing in between bends of 20.8, which is roughly 20 and 7 eighths. Okay, now... If we look at the actual bend, 20 and 7 and 7 eighths in between our bends might be too much. It might not be, okay? This is just an example, like I said, okay? So we're going to actually take a look at it, and let's just say for the sake of the video that 20.8 is too much, okay? Being that we only have, you know, 28 inches, okay, some of that you have to account for the, you know, the actual radius of the bend clearing it and everything. Let's just say that it's, you know, for the sake of the video, it's too much, Okay, we need something smaller, something tighter, an offset that's going to be tighter to clear this obstruction. Let's go with a 30-degree bend. Now, a 30-degree bend gives us a spacing a lot tighter, okay, which is going to give us 16 inches. Okay, that seems about pretty good, okay? And lastly, the 45-degree bend is going to give us a spacing of about 11 and a quarter in between our bends, okay? Now... You see that this is a larger conduit. The only reason why I say that 45 might not work, or it might, okay, is because when you're dealing with larger conduit, okay, 
this these basings that these bends that are so close apart might not work. You might not be able to get the second bend in when it comes time to bend the second bend. Okay, so that's why I'm saying that 30 degree bend is perfect with a 16 inch spacing in between. And not saying that the 22 and a half might not work either. Okay, I'm just saying that this is the example and this is what we're showing. Basically showing you how it is that we use the and when we use the different degrees of bends. Okay, now if this rack wasn't here and wasn't in our way at all, then you can use any degree of bend that you want to use to clear the obstruction. Okay, it wouldn't be a problem. Okay, because you're not limited to a uh, spacing in between bends. Okay, you're not limited at all. All right, uh, Darrell. Again, I hope this helps. And uh, let's get back to the video. So basically, being that he only had 29 inches, okay, to work with, and that our offset height is going to be roughly around 8 inches, okay? So what we're going with is a 30-degree bend, okay, which is going to give a spacing of about 16 inches apart, okay? And that's just enough to get them, you know, uh, uh, put together to get a 30 degree bend at eight inch offset. Okay, so that's how you decide, you know, what type of degree of bend you wanna use, okay? Also, you know, like if we would've went with a 22 and a half, the spacing would've been too far apart and we would've still crashed into our cast iron pipe, okay? If we went, went with a 45, Okay, we wouldn't have been able to complete our bends because they would have been too close together. Okay, so it's all about playing with the multipliers and seeing what you come up with as far as your spacing in between bends goes. Okay, and then you'll know which you're going to actually use. Okay, this is just an example. And um, this is not something that and I'm pretty sure we could have did something different over here. I, I would have actually moved this back if I had to and try to, you know, space out my bends a little more just to make it a little more gradual, you know. Um, also, I would have definitely, you know, um, kept it a little tighter to the actual pipes unless you know they're going to get insulated. In this case, they're not going to get insulated, so I would have kept it a little tighter, you know. But other than that, that's how you figure out, you know, what type of degree of bends you're going to use out in the field. You know, if it doesn't matter and you don't have something uh, on the backside where your spacing is not going to be limited, then you can choose any any degree that you really uh, want. It doesn't really matter in that case. Okay, same thing goes with that conduit on, on the backside over there, the two inch. He's only working with a certain amount of spacing in between bends, you know, so he has to work with, you know, what he has, okay? So you pick the degree of bend that's going to give you this right amount of spacing, all right? I hope that answers your question, and uh, with that, I'm out.